if you notice it's at 70 miles per hour and I'm not getting any more juice out of it. But my the pedal is on the floor. Like you can see that. It's to the ground. I'm flooring it. And all I'm getting is 70 miles per hour. But hey, it's a safe speed. If you notice it's at 70 miles per hour and I'm not getting any more juice out of it. But my the pedal is on the floor. Like you can see that. It's to the ground. I'm flooring it. And all I'm getting is 70 miles per hour. But hey, it's a safe speed. Um we're gonna do Oops. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so now we're going to switch keys. So this was the key that I set up for the my key. We're going to pull that out the ignition. I'm just going to throw it over there in the seat. This is the original key that I always drive with. We're going to put that in and turn the ignition on. We're going we're gonna to go through and see if we can... Like, let's just pretend someone else just drove the car, and now I'm going through it to see what has happened. <clears throat> Go up to my key and then we're gonna go. Where is it? Where are you? No, where are you? No, no, where is it? Wait, oh, information. So we're gonna go to my key, and now you can see with the my key, I just drove 6.4 miles, which <laughs> it really didn't seem that long. I just drove on I-95, went to a store, drove back on 95, that's six miles. Um, I don't think there's anything else it's going to show me. Right, okay. System warning. Or system information. Okay, so we're going to do now, for the my key, we're going to... Um, I'm going to clear the my keys. So I cleared it. You hold OK to clear all my keys. All my keys have been cleared. And now we go back. And we're going to pull out the key that I just used, which was the admin key. I'm going to put this key in. Um, so this is... This is the admin key, and this is not the admin key. And we're gonna, if we go here, settings, I'm gonna turn off traction control, uh, driver assist, traction control, off. And now we're gonna put some oil underneath the tire on the ground. And we're gonna go drifting because now traction control is off, and my check engine light keeps flashing. <laughs> um, yep, yeah, so that's it. And with traction control, it's off now, but when I turn the car back, the, the key on again, the traction control is off again. So that's, you know. All right, that's it for this video for now. Have a great day.
Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, this video, not everyone is going to like this, but if you're a parent and you had someone snitch on your teenager, said that they was maybe uh, speeding or listening to really loud music, uh, today is going to be a good video for you. Uh, not so much for your teenagers. So, I have two keys here. Um... This is the key that I normally drive with. You can see it is total, it's a mess. This is all scratched up. And the how to start your vehicle is all gone. This this key on the other hand, I think it has a little scratch. Oh, the paper is peeling here, but everything is still here. The Ford logo is good. And how to start the vehicle is here. You can see it saying, um, oh, it's this way. So to start, Oh, wait, it's this way. I don't know. Anyway, to start the engine, you lock the door and you press the circle circulation button twice. So that would be the lock, and then you just press this twice and the vehicle starts. Um, I'm inside of it. I think it should do it still. Let's see. So I'm going to lock the vehicle. Right now, the doors are unlocked. Unlock the vehicle. One, two. Okay, it does do when you're in the car. All this, all these years of having this car, I never checked that out. To stop it, you just press that once. Um, if you guys heard just now, the AC was turning on uh, and all that good stuff. But that's not all about what this video is about today. Um, if you have push start, you also should have that accessibility or availability to do that. So today we're going to talk about my key. Um turn this over because that looks really bad I'm embarrassed how I messed up this key so both keys are for my car they both work this is my daily driver everywhere I go I use that and this key I lend out to someone who maybe want to use the car both keys right now are currently set to uh, access everything in the vehicle which is nothing much but um, we're gonna take this key and we're gonna put this in and the screen lights up. I'm going to turn it on. Well, I turn, I didn't start the car. I just turn it on. Now we'll start the car. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and put up my windows. So, let me turn up the AC just a little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone who has a... Taurus Fusion Explorer, if you have this, um, you'll know what I'm talking about, but um, if you watch this screen, I'll bring it here. I'm going to turn the air condition up to, I don't know, 67 degrees. So if you watch, I'm going to click once, oh, click once, 66, 67 degrees, and then I'm going to turn the AC up to max. One, two, three, four. So you can do that as well versus having to come here. It's a pretty old feature that's been there anyway. So for this side, this is where the hot topic is. So my key, now I'm not an expert in this area, but for my car it works. I don't know if any other manufacturer have this. Uh, Volvo has it. I don't know if anyone else have it other than Ford and Volvo. Um, actually, I don't even know if Volvo has this specific thing. But what I'm going to do is take this key and I'm going to make some settings in here in the car and I'm going to limit the kind of like the performance of the car. But I suggest when you do this, always have both keys just in case you mess up somewhere. You can use this key as the quote-unquote admin key to allow you to kind of turn off the my key and remake it if you messed up. So with the key in the ignition, um, I'm sure you can do this with the engine off, but I'm going to do it with the engine running. Um, for this side of the board, I'm going to be using this side, uh, left side, left, and the right, right side. So we're going to be using the left side here. And I just want you to 
Okay, and this will be back, up, down, right, and this is this is okay. You're gonna be okay. So I'm not gonna like play with this and make you watch that. I'm just gonna let you watch this. So to turn on or to make the my key and, and make it functioning, functionable, uh, you wanna go wherever you are, you wanna press back. Okay, so right now I'm in display mode. We're gonna go down to settings. We're gonna press okay. Oh, I was already there because I was doing it just now. Um, usually it comes here at driver assist and it really depends on your car and your trim level and what you had Ford put in the car. You will see more of these or you will see less of these. Uh, if your Ford doesn't come with the whole Mikey thing, um, then you don't have it. But I, um, for my, my car, I have it. And the other Fords that I've driven has it as well. So we're gonna go down to my key. We're gonna press enter. We're gonna click create my key. So we're gonna press okay. We're gonna hold okay to create my key only for this key. We're not, it's not gonna set both of these up. It's only gonna set the one that is in the ignition. Okay. So we're gonna go back here and we're gonna press and hold okay. Two, three. This key restricted at next key cycle. I was trying to read through the camera, through the phone, sorry. Uh, so now the my key is, has been made. So now we can fumble around with 911 assist, advanced traction control, max speed, max monitor, max minder, speed minder. Okay, let me do this. All right, I'm gonna read on the screen instead of on my phone, that makes it harder. Volume limiter, do not disturb, and then clear my keys. So 911 assist, uh, you can have user selectable. So if someone comes in your car, or let's let's say I had kids and I said to my son, you know, go to the store, and I was worried about the neighborhood or the style of his driving, that if he was to get into an accident, um, I would want the car to notify me uh, that the car was in an accident and the location of the car and I would want the car to notify the local authorities which is 911 at the time whatever regional place you in it would call 911 and it would tell 911 um, uh, there has been an accident at these coordinates the lady would write it down and call the police to, to go and investigate or help out so you can do always on or you can do user selectable always on would be when whoever jumps in the car uh, it would be on and if their phone is connected to the car it would allow the car to dial 911 and let vehicle know um, hey you know it's the car your car has been in an accident owner selectable user selectable would be you know if I wanted it or not I'm gonna leave that advanced track control we're gonna have this to always on so the the user whoever has whoever jumps into the car with the key that's currently in the ignition they would not have an option to turn off advanced traction control that's that's not an option max speed and I'll actually go and show you guys this today so um, I will put it to 70 miles per hour so the options are 65 70, 75, 80, and off. So if, if if my son was going to the supermarket, which was a quarter mile down the road, and he's been good and he doesn't you know, go crazy, I could have that selected to off. But since it's me, I'm gonna be testing it. I wanna show you guys. So I'll set it to 70 miles per hour. So what's gonna happen, and I, I did this before, um, I did it to try and limit me, but it was too much. Once the car gets to 70 miles per hour, you may not hear it, but the engine is gonna quiet down. It's basically gonna govern the speed and slow down and remain at 70 miles per hour. Um, the speed minder, we're gonna have it set to 45 miles per hour because where I'm gonna be driving, the speed limit actually is 45 miles per hour. Then I'm gonna go on the freeway 
and the speed limit is just around 70 miles per hour ish so we're gonna set it to that what was the other juice settings oh 65 okay so the volume limiter we're gonna oh it's on I thought I had oh wait okay, so on back do not disturb um, uh, I'm gonna leave that to user selectable um, always on for the f for the fact that I'm gonna be recording a video with my phone um, I don't know if that's gonna like cause my phone not to be used you guys could research that yourself the point of this video is for the my key and the speed limiter uh, and then clear keys all right so that's it so now we go back out we go back into my key we go back out so now um, turn it off it out. put the key back in turn it on. and my key activated speed limit at 70 miles per hour okay so it actually reminds you too so when you jump in the car you know not to even try you know attempt crazy things um, traction control obviously you won't be able to turn off so let's see if I could play with the settings if I was to be the son of someone that just gave me their car vehicle um, locks what's the top one? Oh, there we go oh okay so okay I'm already seeing a setting missing um, display gauge I like this better is I'm Jerod. Jerod. Language should always be English. Units, that should be in Fahrenheit. Um, yep, it's already limited. My key. So, um, my key, there's 0, 0.0 miles driven on the my key, and there's one admin key. So, remember, I told you guys have the two keys on you when you do it at least. I'm sure I didn't have to be in the car, but I like to be safe. So this key that's in the ignition right now is the my key key. This is my admin key. Um, so after we do a drive, I'll show you guys that as well. Uh, right now there's no um, system warning, system check. So, oh, oil life is 8%. Ooh, I gotta go do an oil change. Um, okay. Um, all right, that's it. So now, okay, in in settings, vehicle, uh, track settings. Yeah, I think it's settings vehicle. It's the traction control option is gone. Da, 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 da. All right. So on the Ford website, Ford, not Farb, Ford website. This is their manual. Um, it's this is the owner's manual for my key. There we go. So it says here, how do I use my key to limit the speed my teenager can drive and the volume of his or her music? You can see it says my key, the nine one says speed limit. You guys saw all of that earlier in the settings over here. Now, my key allows you to program any key to a restricted driving mode setting that promotes good habits such as increasing seatbelt use, limiting vehicle's top speed, and decreasing audio volume. Create a My Key. So what you have to do, and I showed you guys earlier, it says here to insert key into ignition or backup slot if your vehicle is equipped with push start button. So if you have a push start where this button would be a push and not a place for your key, the key fob, you can't push it in there. Duh. So, I think I know the Mustang have it, but for the for my Taurus, if I were to have that, it would be here, <clears throat> right here in the corner of my armrest area. You'd lift this flap up and you'd put the key in there. But I don't have that option because I don't have that kind of car. But I still have a cool Taurus. Okay. So. Where were we? Um, second. So now switch ignition on. We did that. But I actually ended up starting the car because it's hot outside. How hot is it anyway? It's 
91 degrees, goodness grief. Uh, and then after you switch the ignition on, it says here to select settings, my key, create my key. And then you're gonna press and hold OK button until a message appear, prompting you to designate your key as a my key. And then this is the global settings on their website as well. Uh, so the settings that it's, you know, you can play with the configurable settings. Speed limit restriction and minders. Restrict the top speed not to exceed 80 miles per hour. Set vehicle speed minders that trigger visible and audible warnings at the pre-selected speed of 45, 55, or 65 miles per hour. Always on settings for traction control, 911 assist, do not disturb, maximum audio volume of 45 mile, 45 percent. I'm all about speed, miles per hour. <clears throat> um, oh, and that's just like the different sync. Oh, actually talking about that, Ford has, I think in the new Bronco, I don't know what else has it, maybe the new F-150 is I think 2021. Ford has sync four. <laughs> just so you guys understand how crazy that is, this is a sync two dose. This is sync two. The same size and everything, I already looked it up, I can replace this for a sync three for roughly around, I think it's like two twenty five hundred dollars, two grand and change. It would be a lot faster than this. Um, this isn't that bad actually. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just okay. But if you don't know the difference between sync two and three, sync two will be the best touchscreen you ever had in your life. Um, so that's that okay so we did that now what I was trying to say was if you guys look the the settings is a lot less so let's let's count it from the top started from the bottom down here one two three four five six settings are here for the vehicle oh wait that's courtesy wife oh, wait one two three four five six yeah, six. Yeah, six settings. Six settings. All right, for vehicle. So what we're going to do is we're going to change keys. I'm going to show you the settings that we're missing. So I probably won't even start the car because okay. I'll start the car. Okay. So the car started. Um, there's no my key warning that came up. And that's, that's the last setting where I was when I left the car. So... That's a good thing to know. Oh, settings. Here's settings. Now, driver assist appeared. Yay. And that's traction control and rear parking aid. Traction control is on. If I turn traction control off, you're going to see a light come on the right. Boom. Traction control off. Okay. That'll kind of allow the wheels to spin a lot more. And in the event of, you know, like a panic. You, you you won't be able to save yourself. Ooh, Dodge Charger. All right, focus. Vehicle, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. Oh, no, no, that was the setting. Driver assist went missing. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, and then my key. So with, with the admin key in now, um, I can go to the speed settings and see it's at 70 miles per hour. Um, maybe I'll put it to 75. Let me, show, let me see if I can do something. So it's at the 75 miles per hour. The speed minder, we're going to put at 65 miles per hour. Oh, and... Yeah, that's it. So now we're going to take the key out. And this is the my key. And then now you can you the, you can tell the difference because one is a super man and one is just this. Put this in. Vehicle active, drive safely, speed limit 75 miles per hour which I opted from 70 to 75, so you guys see how easy it is to do that. Um, 
So we're gonna go for a spin in a few minutes. And I'm sure you guys, the speed will uh, readjust. I'm gonna, let, me, let me change it back to 70. Because the sooner I get up to speed, the better. I don't wanna, I wanna be promoting speeding. So I'm putting my key in, I'll leave the ignition on, but not, the, not have the car running. Uh, I'm gonna go here to settings. I'm gonna go to my key. Uh, max speed, we're gonna put it back down to 70. And then we're gonna go to speed minder, and we're gonna put it to 45. I like how my check engine light is flashing. You can stop now. Uh, okay. By the way, if your car is running and your check engine light starts flashing, um, I strongly advise you just pull off the road and call your mechanic. Uh, call someone trusted. Let me say that. Don't just call any shop because they'll say, yeah, bring it over. Your engine's going to explode. Call a trusted mechanic and let them uh, help diagnose it over the phone. That's for a flashing check engine light. So that's that. All right, let's go for a drive and let me show you guys the speed will limit. All right, so when I get on 95, I'm gonna put the car in automatic. So I can record to show you guys the speed limit thing. Check speed, drive safely. Alright, we reached that pretty quick.